Soften your hand. Give to the horse. Have an elastic contact. Stop pulling. If you've heard any of these things, this is the video for you. Hello friend and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about how you can hold your reins differently for a softer hand. If you've ever been told by your instructor that you are tense through your arm or you aren't giving through your, your hand on the reins or you're too hard on your horse's mouth or you're pulling too much and you just don't know how to fix it or don't know the feeling you're supposed to achieve, then this is going to be the tip for you. Basically, you're going to hold your reins instead of the normal way, you're going to flip them over and hold them like a driving rein. And by doing this, it makes your wrist softer, it makes your forearm softer, and it makes it really hard to brace against the rein, and it just naturally makes you have a softer hand. And you can go back and forth with this style of riding in your just daily routine on your horse. And you can even use it with jumping to help achieve a more automatic release. If you're stuck in that crest release, just putting your hands on the crest and you want to start to have a more of a following hand over the fence, this is another great tool for you. And I'll show you exactly how this is done, both with just me holding the reins and with a clip of one of my students doing it as well. And you can start to see the horse really stretch into the contact because she's just softened her whole hand. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, here I am getting on Copper the Unicorn. This horse is amazing. I love him so much. And I just wanted to show you from the point of view from the rider how to do this tip with the reins. So I'm just going to hold the reins like normal. And you can see my thumb is pointing towards the buckle. And I'm just going to turn my hands over to where my thumb points down the end of the rein towards the bit. And this is a driving hold. And this just allows your elbows and forearms and wrists just to really go with the horse. And you'll feel it as soon as you do it. You'll be like, oh, this is what it's supposed to feel like. And it's just so much easier in this type of hold. Here is my student again, and I've asked her to do the same thing. And at first the horse was bracing against her, but as soon as she kind of flipped the reins over in her hands for the driving hold, he really starts to stretch out to the contact. If you haven't already, if you could just hit the like and subscribe button, it really helps me out. Thank you so much. So I just wanted to slow it down so that you can see it in slow motion, just how I do it if it wasn't obvious before. So I just take my hand and I just flip it over on the reins, just like so. And you can do this driving hold at the walk, trot, canter, and over fences to get that more of a following feeling. And here's just one more time in slow motion, me just flipping those reins over from a normal hold where my thumb goes towards the buckle of the rein to where I flip it over and my thumb goes towards the bit. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Again, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.